Hi everybody and welcome back to the Fibromancers Knitting and Crafting Podcast. Uh, okay, arms are already out of shot. I've already set up the camera wrong today. Anyways, I just want to say hello to all of our new friends here. And uh, welcome back to everybody else who's new. Uh, obviously based off of the uh, first clip, I'm exhausted from a Rhineback weekend 2023. And let's sit up a little bit more. I've already talked ample about what happened over the weekend and how Rhineback weekend went in other vlogs during Vlogtober, so we're not actually going to talk about it at all today, if I can help it, if, if my brain lets me not, because there are plenty of people who have talked about everything and just, I've already done it. So that being said, today's episode is going to be all about the haul. Everything that I got from Cake, Wool and Folk, and um, the New York Sheep and Wool Festival. I know a lot of people have been waiting for this, and normally, how do I normally do it? I don't even know how I normally do it, but that's what we're going to show off today. Um, I'm not really going to show it off in any particular order, other than the fact, um... Maybe I'll just start off with what Lev got because then it's like one thing. Also, if you're a long time viewer, I know you're going to be disappointed to learn I did not buy any beef jerky this year. I was in such a bad mood come Saturday at the fairgrounds that I didn't even go to get my beef jerky, sadly. We were out there sat, uh, at the fairgrounds Saturday with my mom and my grandma. So my grandma got to see everybody and my, and Lev, who is my life partner, took my grandma around uh, Building E, which has all the food and liquor vendors. And he picked up, he picked this up last year, but he got two of them this year, which is his favorite thing ever. It's Judd's apple pie, apple liqueur. So we got two of those. It's like, oh, didn't. No, they're both sealed. I was like, did he drink some of this before I even showed it off? This is his favorite thing. He literally wanted one thing when we were there and it was this. Um, so I'm actually going to immediately put this away because he, he's fine. Well, I can put it under the table for now. He's not even here. He loves that. We love, we love that booth. We love treating it like World Showcase. If you've ever been to Epcot in Disney World, Florida, and um you know treating it like world showcase and just walking around and sampling my grandmother also got some of the hedda the uh mulled wine and i don't have that that's that's with her upstairs <laughs> so those are all like our f oh and i got cheese from in my oh, i'm not gonna pull it out it was the soft um the soft cheese that they had a sample of it was in my vlog. I cannot think of the name of the vendor off the top of my head um, as I am suffering from lack of sleep. We're gonna go with all, but that is our like our food acquisitions other than the things we bought and ate there, which I don't really count. So let's talk about what my friends gave me. Are you in, is there any more? No? Okay, we got one friendship bracelet and a pin. Can you guys see? Okay, you can't even see it. Haunted Mansion pin from Lindsay, who's sock witchery. We have this, this thing where we like kind of every, every year we see each other, one of us brings each other a Haunted Mansion gift. They make me happy, little friends gifts. All right, so I guess uh, maybe we can do this in somewhat of an order because they're all kind of... So that was basically everything I got at the, the fairgrounds uh, at Saturday at actual Rhineback New York Sheep and Wool because when we talk about Rhineback, it's generally referring to New York Sheep and Wool Festival. So the things that I bought at Cake... Oh, my mom took her bag with her. I have bought my mom a Tanny Casey bag. So if you've seen mine, which I got at Maryland Sheep and Wool. I got my mom one with a different print. It has peacocks on it 
in these bags. Sorry, I have the windows open, so if the audio and like you hear everything outside, I'm not closing the windows. It's like 70, what did my mom say, 74 degrees today. I am not closing the windows. You just have to deal with the outdoor ambiance. Um, I love that bag. It has a wax leather bottom, nope, a wax canvas bottom with leather straps, and it is literally my go-to day-to-day bag. I put everything in it, and that was my first purchase at Cake Palooza. Uh, I then realized and had a panic attack, but <laughs> mild panic attack. I say that loosely. It was not a real, real panic, but I did not bring chapstick with me, which it was something that I needed in that moment. So I immediately went over after that to the Tufts Woolen booth and got a stick of chapstick and this little hand lotion, which doesn't want to focus. Okay, so the chapstick, which it was so dry in my hotel room and the fact that I did not pack my chapstick literally drove me insane that first night. This is the Lavender Mallow and I literally want to eat it. Which is like, put the, file this under forbidden foods that I'm not allowed to chomp on. And then the little lanolin rich hand and body balm. This, I only got this one because I wanted the convenience of having it be like a tube you, if you buy these, it was the same price to get the tin, but I didn't want to be touching the tin over and over again this way. And like, I get it stuck under my nails. Uh, this way, it was just for the convenience, but it was the same price as the tin, and the tin had way more in it. So I would suggest if you're going to buy this, purchase the, the, um, the tin, the circle tin over this. Uh, and I got this in the plum and amber scent flavor. What are we going with? So I feel like chapstick is flavor versus lotion, which is scent. Does that make sense? Oh, some of these don't belong in here, but that's okay. Um, before I bought the Tufts woolen, I was right next to the Chelsea Yarns. How did I get this here? So obviously I got this big old shiny bag for making a purchase. It's very obvious. <laughs> it's very pretty and very visible. Very neon. I did not get her show colorway, which was an Akatar colorway, which I don't have any like FOMO of missing, but I did pick up one, this beautiful like hand dyed silk scarf which i was wearing in one of my pictures that i took and then i was wearing it on my hair as a bandana and i love it it's uh i'm it's my it's my beautiful mauvey nipple pink with some gold i just loved the coloring it's just like it has a more autumnal vibe to it and less of a cool tone and it just pulls all the colors that i wear frequently so i will get a lot of use out of this also it looked really cute and I tried tucking it into the breast pocket of Lev's brown new woolen, nope, yeah, wool sports coat that he got and the colors match. So at least we are all cohesive. And I also picked up, what is this colorway? Frickin' Bats, which was her Halloween color on her 801010 base. So it is 80% superwash merino, 10% cashmere, and 10% nylon. I'm like so excited to work this up. I wanted to do socks with it, but then I was thinking I probably will do a tank top to wear with it. I just, I think it's very cute. And I really want to cast things on. So push, pushing off this video was very, was struggling for me because I want to make all the things with all of my purchases. And my other purchase from cake. My other purchase from cake would be from Woolen Vinyl. While she did just release all of her Beatles colorway, which I absolutely loved, I fell in love with this colorway, which is not new. This is Dreams for, you know, our patron saint, Stevie Nicks. And I just thought it was absolutely adorable. It's got these beautiful, like, 
orange and pink and gold speckles throughout some of them had a little bit less but it just was so pretty and I think what I'm gonna do is oh I already moved it if you've seen it I'm going to do another modified my favorite adventure which actually it's right here let me get it um, so this is my modified my favorite adventure which is a color work sweater but I took all the color work out for just the shaping of it this is also on wool and vinyls pop punk sock which is a, this rainbow tweed and uh, this colorway is the Rihanna colorway so I think I'm gonna collect all of her Fleetwood Mac Stevie Nicks yarn and create a sweaters for or myself sweaters out of all of them I think I'm going to make another one of that because this cut yarn is going to look so pretty with the new yellow skirt which I wore on the travel day vlog if you, I showed it off you also saw it in the uh, when I was packing for Ryan back video Ryan back video I didn't I did not attend Indie Untangled this year, so I don't have any purchases from there. Though their swag bag was absolutely adorable with their uh, their 10th anniversary print. Uh, the rest of my purchases are from the vendors at Wollenfelt. So I have it. Oh man, where did it go? Colorway missing. So it's it'll be to no one's surprise that the first booth that I attempted to find and get to would be Dragon Horde Yarns. I specifically asked Tristan to bring me this one skein because I wanted it instantly, which also will come as no surprise when you guys learn who, what it is. And if you're a longtime viewer, you will understand why I needed this color. This is her Windy Boy from her Cryptid collection. And if you know, you know. If you don't know, you'll find out soon enough. I had to have Windy Boy. I would go and buy a sweater quantity of this yarn. It is absolutely beautiful muted tonals with the golds and moss greens and bright blues and bright greens with like muted grayish washouts it is a beautiful melody of of this color <laughs> I don't even know how to talk about it but this is one of those things that if it was named anything else I probably wouldn't get it but because of its name I a hundred percent needed to have it uh, I also was able to pick up one of each of her show colorways for both of the days of <sighs> we're not even we're gonna we're gonna Voldemort it here so this is spooky scary Rhineback time which is a much fun more fun bright color this was her colorway for the Thursday which I didn't go to I'm just special I got to pick it up but I believe you can order both in her shop because of the happenings and then Winoween, which pull it back okay there we go it's very true right there I'm very excited this is the colorway that I wanted to cast on a new pair of socks with so now that I've shown you in five minutes of overall whenever I finish this video I will be casting on a new pair of socks And next to her was her mother and her sister's booth. Her mother is Yarn Cafe Creation. I did not pick up anything from Christy. But I did pick up oodles for, a, for a, a sweater quantity worth of Alaska, who is Sinful Yarns. In her moss colorway. This is on her DK weight which is 100% superwash. We're not, I'm not sure exactly which pattern these are going to be for or what they're gonna be, but we've got a sweater quantity of yarn. Obviously, most people know what happened at Woolen Folk, and if you can, I have more, but if you can support 
vendors support them. Alaska's yarn was something that I've been wanting to get and again, I needed the instant gratification so getting it at the show was super important. Uh, Aurora also picked up one of her Annabelle stitch markers which she is using as a zipper pull on her backpack. Very cute little metal stitch marker. Editing Megan here and I completely forgot that I bought, well Aurora bought this print from Home Row Hand Crafts and it survived that downpour and we love it so much. It's up on our mantle hanging out with all our Halloween decor until we can find a frame for it, for it to go into Aurora space. I then, during Woolen Folk, I didn't even talk about this, had my adult beverage. It was the only way. Sadly, which I hate, this is why I don't, I don't do specific things. If the only way I can tolerate, if the only way I can tolerate being somewhere is being inebriated or having a drink, that is a total red flag. So after I had my bevy, I started wandering around in the, uh, I, I don't, in our, in our tent land. And I stumbled upon a new to me dyer, which is Mad Dye Yarns. And I was looking and this color caught my eye. It is not at all my color white, guys. Like this is not the color palette I ever use. You, you look over on my Instagram and check out my feed. But I started talking with them and this is part of their Midwest uh, collection. And this colorway is called Pop. And it is inspired by Mountain Dew. I had to have it. I had to have it. If it has to do with Mountain Dew, I had to have it. You know? You could have fooled me. It could have been Monster Green also. But it is perfect. And it's called Pop because um, regionally it's not. It's soda pop. Pop. Instead of soda. But let's, there you go. It is such a bright color. And it fills me with such joy. And I'm so glad that I picked up this one skein from them. That, that was, well, besides, what did we get? Drinks and attempted food. The things that aren't a yarn haul. Is there anything else under here? No. Nope. That's all that I bought this weekend, and I say it, and I say that like that's all. But when I lay it out, it's a lot. But and then I compare it to some other people, and I'm like, oh, they got a lot, a lot. These are the blah. That concludes all of my purchases from Rhineback Weekend. I hope you like this video, and you subscribe, and you give it a thumbs up because it really helps the channel out. Also, I gotta do a little bit of a plug. I do now have memberships, and please subscribe. So the memberships are basically YouTube's version of uh, like Patreon, where you will get special things. There are three different tiers. The first tier you doesn't really have, it's just helping support my channel. The second tier you get behind the scenes, and the third tier you get, nope, second tier you get behind the scenes and into the Discord group, and then the third tier you get special stuff along with the Discord group. Also, I have really cute emojis and loyalty badges that are themed. So if that's something you want to do, that would also be amazing, but in uh, no way, no pressure, just like the video, and that's completely free. And it also, or just subscribe, also free, means the world to me. So I love you all, and I'll see you guys later. Bye-bye.